Ever since the COVID-19 pandemic was first detected back in March last year, all of Rwanda's sectors have had to adapt, not least of all the judicial system. And this is evident in the fact that close to 80% of the almost 75,000 cases that were tried in the country during the 2020-2021 judicial year were done using video conferencing. Useful as it is, technology does present new dangers. The government encourages Rwandans to use technology, especially mobile phones, to do business and carry out financial transactions. It is therefore necessary to reinforce security measures to ensure that people do not fall victim to con men and other criminals in this way, especially those who do not know how to properly use such technology. We must protect them at all costs. I have been told that some of the computers you use are so outdated they cannot keep up with the latest technology. I'm not sure if that information is true, but I believe most of it is accurate. Therefore, I want us to work with the relevant authorities, the Chief Justice and other judges. I want us to help them so that the problem is resolved quickly. That includes other issues that may be related to this one. The 2020 Rwanda governance scorecard indicated that the judicial sector had 81.89%, but that does not mean it does not have problems and they are dealt with accordingly. The objective of properly dispensing justice, Your Excellency, cannot be attained if the behavior of judges and other court officials is not looked into. The High Council of the Judiciary therefore does that and takes action against those found to be behaving contrary to the code of the profession. In line with that, during the last judicial year, one judge and three court bailiffs faced disciplinary action that includes dismissal, the removal from leadership positions and suspension. On his part, President Paul Kagame pointed out that some things simply cannot be tolerated in the justice sector. People who seek services from courts of law expect judges to listen to the case with impartiality, ruling based on testimony and other evidence provided in the trial. That is how it should be done and what the law requires. However, we still hear of incidents of judges and others that work with them, holding out their hands so that they may be given something. Such behavior is bad, and we have talked about this many times. It is behavior that should be eradicated. The strain on the judicial sector caused by the consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic is expected to lighten as the pandemic is slowly defeated, though technology will continue to be an important part of its operations.